Step into Reading 2, The Teeny Tiny Woman, retold by Jane O'Connor, illustrated by R. W. Alley. A teeny tiny woman lived in a teeny tiny house. One day, she put on her teeny tiny hat. She got her teeny tiny bag and she went for a teeny tiny walk. Soon, the teeny tiny woman came to a teeny tiny gate. She opened the teeny tiny gate and went into a teeny tiny yard. There she saw a teeny tiny bone on a teeny tiny grave. I can make some teeny tiny soup with this teeny tiny bone, said the teeny tiny woman. The teeny tiny woman put the teeny tiny bone in her teeny tiny bag. She went through the teeny tiny gate. She walked and walked and walked all the way back to her teeny tiny house. The teeny tiny woman opened her teeny tiny door. My teeny tiny feet are tired, said the teeny tiny woman. I will not make my teeny tiny soup now. The teeny tiny woman put the teeny tiny bone in a teeny tiny cupboard. Then she got into her teeny tiny bed for a teeny tiny nap. Soon, a teeny tiny voice called, Give me my bone. The teeny tiny woman was a teeny tiny bit scared. I must have had a teeny tiny dream. She said. The teeny tiny woman had a teeny tiny glass of milk. Then she got back into her teeny tiny bed. Soon she fell asleep. It was not long before the teeny tiny voice called out again. Give me my bone. The teeny tiny woman woke up. She was so scared she hid under her teeny tiny covers.
but the teeny tiny voice called out again. And now it was not teeny tiny at all. Give me my bone. The teeny tiny woman peeked out from her teeny tiny covers. She said, take it. And that is the end of this teeny tiny story.